Bay Vinyl community, this is Chris. Uh, good afternoon on this uh, Friday. I uh, accidentally clicked on the wrong link on uh, on YouTube and I watched a Graham Parsons video, and which caused me to click on another link, which was another Graham Parsons video. So before I knew it, I was pulling out uh, Graham Parsons albums to make this video, even though this wasn't really what I'd planned, but you know, um, it, it's very enjoyable anyway. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, a bunch of Graham Parsons related stuff, and uh, and we'll I'll move on to whatever else. So starting with the uh, the early years of Graham Parsons, 1963 to 1965, Graham Parsons and the Shilohs. This is called on uh, Sierra Briar Records, put out in 1979. Sierra Briar, or maybe they're just known as Sierra now, has uh, been a good source of uh, you know, music like this. You know, Graham Parsons, Roger McGuinn, you know, Birds Related. So that's the early years, then uh, 63 to 65, then uh, 67. Oh, Clarence White was another one that uh, Sierra Breyer has been promoting. International Submarine Band with Graham Parsons. On uh, LHI Records. Oops, LHI. Uh, this uh, thing has a punch out hole on it. That was an early uh, record that I paid real money for instead of cutouts like most of these were. Um, 1968, Sweetheart of the Rodeo, Graham Parsons. Uh, this was his peak year of involvement. On uh, Columbia, so this looks like a reissue of some sort, but it's got some good Graham Parsons uh, songs on here, Hickory Wind, 100 Years From Now, and then the non-Graham Parsons songs are good too, just solid album all the way around. Um, and related to that, this Birds box set came out. This is the cassette version. A bunch of unreleased tracks. Uh, it also includes the previously unissued legendary Lost Graham Parsons vocals for Sweetheart of the Rodeo. Comes with this nice booklet. And then the uh, cassette that includes most of the Graham Parsons stuff. Uh, full throttle. I ended up getting a the CD version of this thing later on. Then uh, after he was uh, left the birds or forced out of the birds and uh, supposedly 
spent some time in uh, Europe with the Rolling Stones, but then he came back and uh, formed the Flying Burrito Brothers, along with uh, Chris Hillman in the Birds, Sneaky Pete Kleinlow, Chris Etheridge. So, Gilded Palace of Sin, 1969. So again, this is uh, you know, solid. Hot Burrito 1, Hot Burrito 2, Christine's Tunes, Sin City, some older country songs, Do Right Woman, Dark End of the Street, or maybe they were rhythm and blues songs. But anyway, all good on A&M Records. So I'll show it. Typical A and M, and then uh, Flying Burrito Brothers live at uh, Winterland Ballroom, March 1969 on uh, Dixie Records. Then uh, live at the Avalon Ballroom in April 69. This is a, a two CD set. Nice booklet. This put out by Amoeba Records. So this covers uh, a little page from the catalog. Oh. Oh, sorry, it's this side. The text. Um, so, covers two nights, April 4th and April 6th. And then there was another version issued, which says it's only April 6, 1969. Um, this is on Oil Well Records. Oil Well. And then the second Flying Burrito Brothers, Burrito Deluxe. Uh, Bernie Leiden and uh, Michael Clark are in the band. Chris Etheridge is out. So I don't consider this one quite as strong. Got some good songs on it. Wild Horses is one, but uh, not quite as strong as their debut. And their uh, final studio recording. So Graham Parsons is gone by now, replaced by Rick Robbins. I was trying to just show re Graham-related stuff, but this one slipped in. But anyway, then, then there's some other Rick Roberts uh, fronted uh, albums. They went to Europe on a tour, and, and uh, there's another uh, Graham Parsons compilation called Under Your Spell Again. So this has burrito stuff, solo stuff. On the uh, Handsome Devil label. Two disc set. 
in uh, 1971, I think it was, he guested on this Fred Neal album, Other Side of This Life. He was on a, looks like one song, Don't You Don't Miss Your Water, the piano and vocals. And then the rest of it is uh, Fred Neal, but he's got some good stuff on here too. Uh, the Dolphins, which Quicksilver covered on Marrying Maiden. Uh, the Other Side of This Life, which was covered by uh, Jefferson Airplane. Uh, Everybody's Talking, which was in the uh, soundtrack for Midnight Cowboy. So, on Capitol. And a uh, compilation, Flying Burrito Brothers, 68 to 72. Two LP set with some unreleased tracks. And then he went solo. Here's a... Uh, Graham Parsons' Cosmic American Music, the rehearsal tapes, 1972. This is put out by uh, Magnum. Rehearsal tapes. And uh, the first of his uh, solo albums, Grant GP, 1973, on Reprise. One color reprise label. And then hopefully these are all chronological. I tried to get them that way, but uh, Graham Parson and the Fallen Angels, yours truly anonymous. On the Coliseum, there's a picture label. So we've got Emmy Lou Harris on uh, a lot of this. It's got some Flying Burrito Brother stuff on it also. So, yeah, sort of a compilation. And then I've got this EP, Graham Parsons and the Fallen Angels, Half Speed Master Recording. Uh, it's got three songs on one side, uh, interview on the other, and then a uh, Gene Parsons doing a Graham Parsons song. Hot Burrito Number One. This was also a uh, Sierra Briar release. And they're still in business, uh, you know, selling country, country rock related albums, in case anyone's interested. Uh, then the uh, second and final Graham solo album, Previous Angel. This was, I think, issued uh, after he had passed away.
with Emmy Lou Harris on uh, vocals, along with Graham. So, another good album. And then uh, the final piece of vinyl in this, uh, Graham Parsons, Flying Burrito Brothers, Sleepless Nights. So this covers several years also with Flying Burrito Brothers. Uh, got Emmylou Harris on a few songs. This is on A and M, like the uh, fly, proper Flying Burrito Brothers release. And then the last thing in this uh, video is uh, this uh, tribute to Graham Parsons, issued on by Rhino. So. One CD, but uh, got a bunch of people. Uh, Steve Wynn from, uh, uh, think of the name in a moment. Uh, Uncle Tupelo, Carla Olson, the Macons. Victoria Williams, Bob Mould, Dick Chestnut, Dream Syndicate, I think that's uh, Steve Wynn. Peter Holsapple, Susan Cowsill. So, tribute to Graham Parsons. So, that was... Uh, Watching those videos was, uh, you know, not a mistake, but you know, caused me to do something that I didn't intend to do. But uh, it was nice to pull all that music out, and listen to some different things. So, thanks everybody. See you later. All right, I almost forgot the uh, final bit of Graham Parsons stuff. This uh, reprise uh, Rhino release. Uh, the complete reprise session, so this includes GP and Grievous Angel and outtakes from both albums and some interview tracks. So it's a 3D, 3 CD set. And this uh, 20, 30 page booklet, oh, sorry, 50 page booklet. And then the, oops, that was uh, alternate takes, then uh, GP, little gatefold like the original. Grievous Angel, a non gatefold like the original. So, nice little uh, attention to detail there. So, that was it. Thank you.